To all those people watching, I'd like to remind everyone that this video is not made for kids. It's for older fans and adults. Enjoy the fucking video! Percy and the Runaway Pumpkins Autumn was a happy and busy season on the island of Sodor. Farmers were busy picking shiny red apples and bringing in the last of the sweet corn, and lots of big and small bright orange pumpkins. The fat controller's engines love harvest time. They go to the local farms and have their trucks loaded up with all the crops and take them to the local markets and the docks at Brendan. Sometimes there are festivals made in honor of the cropping season, but the most famous festival of all was the Pumpkin Festival in the small village of Anopa. People from all over the island take part in the festival. They would bring lots of treats for everyone that were made of pumpkins, like pies, bread, soups and puddings. But the thing that many people take part in the festival was the annual pumpkin contest. There are contests for who grew the biggest or the roundest, or even the funniest looking pumpkin during the year. There was even a pumpkin carving contest too. One night, Percy was returning from his usual mail run, but he had a special job to do for the fat controller. There have been a bumper cargo of really big pumpkins here, Percy. I need you to take them to the village of Anopa ready for the carving competition tomorrow. Yes, sir. Very good. But be careful, too. These trucks aren't in a good mood, and I need you to keep them in check. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. I don't like pulling trucks, but I can't see why the fat controller trusts Percy with them. Yeah. There was a time Percy pushed some trucks down the hill from Olstead Castle, and they smashed into the old mine, and when he lost some sheep from Farmer McCall. <laughs> <laughs> I did find those trucks in the end. <laughs> Only by luck, Percy. And those sheep were delivered by Thomas, don't forget. You're nothing but a silly engine. That hill towards Anopa is bumpy, and if those trucks get uncoupled, you won't even find them. Percy was still cross with what Gordon and James had said to him earlier as he puffed on into the night with his special load. The truck saw this and decided to trick Percy. Biff Bash! Biff Bash! Hey, stop that! But the troublesome trucks were still being cheeky and were still causing trouble for the little green engine. Biff Bash! Biff Bash! Percy began to bump them back, but the trucks were still being cheeky all through the night. As Percy reached a hill approaching the village, he began to feel tired. Oh, all that biffing and bashing to keep trucks in line could wear out an engine. He was so tired that he didn't know that the trucks were still up to their tricks. The hill is bumpy, so let's break away! They were right. As soon as Percy puffed up a hill, the trucks hit a bump, and the coupling broke. The trucks giggled and laughed as they rolled down the hill. and then they came to an old siding hidden away with overgrown bushes and trees. The trucks were delighted that their trick had worked, and then went happily to sleep. As the sun began to rise, Percy puffed into the village station. Oh, what a delight, he yawned. Now I can have my rest. The fat controller was there with his wife Lady Hat, who was there to greet him but he was shocked to see that the trucks of pumpkins were nowhere to be seen. Percy! Where are all the pumpkins? cried the fat controller. The pumpkins? <gasps> oh no! The trucks must have come loose along the way! I'm sorry, sir. The trucks were being very troublesome and rude that I tried to keep them in line, but I got so tired I didn't pay attention. Well, that's all right, Percy. You did your best. But you have to find them soon. The pumpkins are important for the festival, and without them, the festival won't go as planned. Percy felt ashamed of himself. Gordon James were right. I am a silly engine. Later, Thomas arrived with his first lot of passengers for the festival. Good morning, Percy. What's the matter? I've lost the pumpkins. <gasps> 
the pumpkins for the carving contest? Yes. The trucks have been troublesome to me and have broken away. The fat controller told me to go and look for them, but I don't know where they are. Gordon and James were right to say that I was silly to look after trucks. You're not silly, Percy. You're a really useful engine, like all of us. Who helped save Bill and Ben from their derailment? Me. Who had braved the flood when taking the children home from the beach? I did. And who had beaten Harold in a race to prove that railways aren't slow or out of date? I did! I may have done some things that would make me silly, but I'm also really useful. Now let's find those trucks and get those pumpkins! So the two engines made their way to find the trucks. I'll try to think like a troublesome truck. Whoa! Then he thought of something. Gordon did say last night that the hill was bumpy. Then Percy could see a track at the bottom of the hill. I think the trucks might be down in that siding over there. Well, let's have a look, shall we? So the two tank engines puffed their way towards the points and puffed down the line. Then... Oh! Oh! Hey! We're resting! Well, rise and shine. It's time to go to Anoka. I don't want any more mischief. So Percy and Thomas puffed on to the village. They arrived at the festival just in time to see the Fat Controller awarding the prize for the largest pumpkin. Everyone cheered when they saw Thomas and Percy with the trucks of pumpkins ready for the carving contest. Well done, you two. You should be thanking Percy, sir. It was him who had found the trucks. Well done, Percy. You saved the day and I thank you for your help. You have been a really useful engine. Soon it was time for the pumpkin carving contest. The people who had entered grabbed their pumpkins that came from the trucks and everyone started to carve. Everyone watched with excitement. At last, the contest was done and the judges were giving out their final score. They soon came to a conclusion. The winner for this year's pumpkin carving contest goes to... Robert O'Connor for his carving of Percy. Percy was surprised. This is done as a special thank you for saving the carving contest. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir as everyone clapped and cheered. So, Percy, how was delivering the pumpkins last night? I did lose them, but... <laughs> of course you would, silly engine! As I said, I did lose them, but I... Percy! I have something to show you. You've made it on the cover of the Sodo Times for you saving the festival yesterday. James and Gordon were surprised that Percy made it on the front cover. <laughs> Silly big engines more like.